All right. Hi. Uh, so you guys really want to know how how to turn a MIDI file that you got either from the internet or something that you made uh, in like FL Studio or something, and to put that MIDI file into a .mod format so that you can use it in Game Boy Studio. So I finally figured it out. Sorry, it took some time. Uh, but yeah, this is the song that I've made really quickly to demonstrate this. That's what I wanted, sorry. Anyway, so yeah, it's pretty short and sweet, but um, basically I will have this project, I will save this somewhere. Um, I have this just named as first and second. It doesn't matter what these are called, but I'm using this to help me remember which channels I want to use uh, each instrument on. Uh, so I'm going to go to, or uh, not instrument, uh, synthesizer. Prepare for MIDI export. This will change all my synths into MIDI outs. This is just a FL Studio thing you do. Probably most important if you have control over this is to change the patch from acoustic grand piano to none. Acoustic grand piano will mess with the pitch information because it's got lots of samples. It's trying to backport the sound font uh, information through to the mod sound format, it, it's instrument format, it's really weird. I'm gonna turn off send pan volume and pitch information so that it uh, gets turned into effect data rather than volume column data. Set the patch to none. Um, and most important is that where I have this information which I wanted to send to the first channel in OpenMPT, I have it set to channel one. This which I wanted on the second channel, I have this set to channel two. Uh, they don't play anything, but I can go to file, export as a MIDI file, uh, and say like my song.midi, and I can exit. Uh, so now I'm gonna create a blank project. You can take your own project, uh, and I'm just going to very quickly create a script that will play my song and not have me take control of a character. Um, inside here of my project assets, I'm going to go to music and open up template.mod. This is going to have all of the instrument data as you probably know from previous uh, tutorials or just the documentation. Um, I'm going to select each channel and uh, delete them by pressing control L and hitting delete here and this will clear everything uh, inside of this pattern. Uh, for these other patterns, I don't care about them. I'm going to delete them from this menu uh, because otherwise the program will nag me about having patterns that I uh, am not using in the mod format. All right, so when I save it, there's no prompts. It's great. Uh, I'm next going to take that MIDI file I made. I'm just gonna drag it in there. Uh, oh but this is actually not how I wanted it. Turns out I actually have to uh, close this window, go back here, click on file, uh, or before this, this is probably the part that uh, gets a bit tricky. You go to setup, view, setup, or you can press control F1, go to MIDI, and at the bottom here, we have MIDI file import. So this is usually set to quantize 30 second notes, ticks per row six, and pattern size 128. Uh, we want to set this pattern size to 64, and that's because the mod format has a maximum of 64 patterns, and we don't want to have to split our notes across multiple patterns. So with that, um, you're going to have that set up, click File, Append Module, and then from that point, we are going into the tutorial that I set up for myself, and click on my mod, uh, MIDI file. It'll say we have too many channels and we'll have like other patterns and stuff. Um, this first pattern is useless, so we can get rid of it because it's got no notes on it. If we play this. All right, so I mean, uh, it's in there, but the second pattern is basically kind of a null command saying this is when the MIDI file stops. We want to get rid of that last pattern that it added on for us 
and change the order of the pattern so it's just the pattern that we want. So it, I only have one pattern, so this has one, but if I wanted it to repeat multiple times or choose different patterns, uh, that's how I do it. Um, and so now I have this, which is the only pattern. It's still template.mod. We still have all of our instruments. It added an extra instrument here to account for the fact that this is a MIDI file and it didn't have any patch associated with it. Uh, but that's okay, because we can just go to uh, Find and Replace, Control-F, search for Instrument uh, 5, the piano one it just added, and replace it with, um, well, because I want to use uh, these two channels with the pulse, this pulse wave, I'm just going to hit OK. And now these should all be as pulse waves. Uh, the only other thing is that this has the set panning effect that OpenMPT uses. Uh, we actually don't want this. We'd probably just uh, change this to our good old friend, the C volume command. Uh, so now everything is set up how it should be. My default uh, velocity in FL Studio when it's creating notes is 75%. So this is reflected here where it's got C30 out of C40 and hexadecimal uh, for each note. And this should be good to go. Um, so I'm going to save. This is just referring to the template.mod that I used from this project file. It's the exact same thing. I'm going to close this. And you can even hear, uh, I mean, I hope, OK. Um, uh, a book, oh. This has never happened before. <laughs> oh, I was so close. Uh, almost got it perfect. Uh, so clearly something, something's up. Um, go back to here. Oh, right. That's because we didn't delete the extra channels. Uh, right click on a channel, uh, go to remove channel, choose channels to remove. It will select all, including three and four, because I didn't put anything on it but we want to keep all four channels. Now that it has four channels and it has all of our notes and they're all using the correct instrument numbers, you can go back, uh, try to run our game again, and we should be good to go. So that's basically it. Um, you will need to sort of figure out uh, when you're in OpenMPT, if you've imported a MIDI file with lots and lots and lots of channels of instruments, you will have to narrow it down to just three melodic voices, knowing that only two of those can even have like kind of smooth volume sweeps. Um, or one of them has actual volume envelopes that is not finished yet though. This uh, channel two lets you do increments of four in hexadecimal for volume. And then channel three only has like five volume settings. So just other things to be wary of when you are going from MIDI, just taking a MIDI file and putting it into the mod file uh, format. But uh, that is basically how it's done. If you've got any other questions, feel free to ask them for comments or uh, just hit me up on the Discord chat since I'm on there pretty often. Yeah, uh, and I hope you guys found this pretty helpful, uh, and hopefully everybody could follow along. Uh, take care.